Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. Utah defensive coordinator Morgan Scally, who was suspended, has been reinstated to the program, but he will have to pay a hefty price for using a racial slur in a text he sent back in 2013. Scally will keep his job with the Utes, but his salary has been cut in half from $1.1 million to $525,000. He will no longer have the title of head coach in waiting and must attend diversity inclusion education classes. He wasn't fired because an independent investigation revealed that so many of the 35 former and current players interviewed stuck up for Scally. Why is he here? And he's here because the, the young men, um, you know, professed, there, in some cases, love for him. Scally admitted to texting the racist word and delivered an emotional apology. I want to apologize to the young men. I have coached and I'm coaching currently. I had the opportunity to address the full team yesterday morning and I expressed to them the complete embarrassment I feel for having hurt them. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm particularly mindful of the young men of color whom I have had the blessing of coaching. How will this affect Scally's ability to recruit people of color? Well, Kyle Whittingham hopes it won't. Morgan has proven to be an outstanding recruiter through the years. And in fact, uh, 51 of the 57 players that he signed to our program are, are uh, minority players. And so. Uh, you know, he's going to have to uh, work extra hard to get some of that trust back, but I have no doubt that that will happen in time. I understand that my insensitivity and extreme lack of judgment have caused some, if not all of you, to lose trust and faith in me. I sincerely hope that you will give me the opportunity to gain that trust back. 